All right. Hey, cigar lovers, got another cigar review for you today. Today I have the Drew Estate Blackened, the S84 Shade to Black. Stick around with me, and we're going to see what this Connecticut's all about. All right, as I said, the Connecticut uh, S84 Shade to Black, the blackened by Drew Estate. Um, we all are well aware of its uh, brother or sister, the M81 Blackened. Uh, that cigar is a very different cigar than this, even though uh, the, the makeup of the cigar is um, very similar to this Connecticut one. This particular one right here I have is a 7x50. Uh, it's a Corona Double. Uh, great looking cigar. Beautiful uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper on there. Great looking cigar. It's got the black and classic band up at the top, and then the foot band, it's got the S84. Uh, the binder on this is, like I said, very similar to the M81. It's got a Connecticut broadleaf binder, and then the fillers are Pennsylvania broadleaf and Nicaraguan. Uh, when you initial appearance, like I said, beautiful Connecticut wrapper on the cigar. Great looking cigar. Uh, initial aromas. Pretty grassy and, and just a lot of hay for me. So um, we'll go back and I'm going to get this foot band off. I'm going to get the cigar cut and I'll be back um, with the cold draw here in just a second. All right. Got the cigar cut here uh, using a straight guillotine cut, using my perfect cut. Absolutely love this cutter. Cuts it perfect every time. Cold draw. No issues at all um, on the draw. Um, I get that hay again, and then there's a little bit of spice, kind of a spicy black pepper on the cold draw. So we'll go ahead, uh, get it lit up, lit up, and I'll be back in the uh, the first third, let you know my initial impressions on the cigar, as well as what I'm tasting in that first third. All right, into the first third of the cigar here. Um, I First, I want to start off with and, and tell you I absolutely love this cigar. So when we, when we think about Connecticut scars, or when I think about them, I think about a morning cigar or an early day cigar, or a cigar that you want to recommend to a new cigar smoker that's just starting off that you're not going to scare them away. Uh, this is not that cigar. This happens to be a Connecticut, but um, it is um, a little stronger. So initially, right off the bat in this first third, you get this spicy black pepper. Um, this I still have that sweet kind of a sweet grass and hay, and then um, I have this creaminess, and then I have like this roasted or toasted walnut in there, so it's very enjoyable, but it is a little bit stronger uh, than your average Connecticut. So um, on my flavor strength profile, I'm gonna say um, it's a six on a one to ten scale, so it puts it right in that medium, medium plus right off the bat. Um, it is a little, little bit stronger cigar. So, um, it's burning fairly well. I got, it's a little wonky here for me. Um, it's November 1st, it's 63 degrees out and I got a light rain out here today. Um, so it's a little damp out here, got a little bit of wind, uh, but we're going to get through this and, uh, enjoy this cigar. Now compared to the M81, I'm a medium, medium plus guy. Um, my brethren, I've got many brethren that absolutely love that cigar. That cigar is not for me. It's just a little too much for my palate. Um, I can smoke it, but I just don't enjoy it. So, um, but with, with that being said, this blackened is, it, it, it tones it down. This Connecticut, this Ecuadorian, um, Connecticut wrapper tones it down just enough for me where I really, they really enjoy it. I can find myself tasting all the notes, and I'm just not blown away by that that strong Maduro wrapper on that other one on the M81, where all I taste is pepper all the way through it. This I'm tasting other notes. That's absolutely enjoyable. Um, so we'll go ahead and smoke on here. Get into the second third, and I'll be back. Let you know what I'm tasting there. All right, into the second third of the cigar here. Excuse me. Continues to burn 
fairly well. It evened up a little bit, but I'm like I say, I'm fighting the rain, and it's the wind's picking up a little bit about here, so it's doing pretty good for the elements that I'm in, or right outside my porch here. Uh, absolutely love the cigar. In the past, I've heard people say that this cigar didn't have a lot of flavor, that you know they would have to go back and redo it, and I I just don't understand that. I absolutely love that cigar as a medium medium plus smoker. This cigar is a phenomenal stick. It has got some amazing flavors in it. And this second, third, um, and I kind of find the same with the uh, the M81. There's not a lot of transitions. It's pretty much the same flavors throughout. But I did, um, in this second, third, I'm starting to pick up some hickory wood. But I still have that black pepper spiciness. And it's not a real heavy black pepper. Um, it's not bad on the retro, and so it's 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 a nice black pepper. Um, I have those toasted walnuts, and it's just that that creaminess um, that comes with this this Connecticut wrapper. So absolutely loving this cigar. Um, this is the you know the the seven inches, so it's taken me a little bit here, um, but I'm into the second third. I'll be back in the final third. I'll get this band off, and I'll come back in the final third. Let you know what I'm tasting there, as well as my final impressions on the cigar. But um, as far as the strength, the strength has remained the same for me. It's about a 6 on a 1 to 10 scale, so that medium, just barely into that medium plus. Uh, very, very nice cigar. And again, I can't say enough about it. Lots of flavors. Um, this is one that I really enjoy. So I'll be back in that final third, let you know where we're at. All right, into the final third of the cigar here. It continues to burn well. It actually evened up quite nicely. Uh, this final third still have that hay up front for me. It's not quite as sweet as it was in the first and second third of the cigar. Um, got that nice spice black pepper on the on the finish. Um, and then I have that um, that hickory and that walnut, and it's got that creaminess in there for me. Um, so overall... Uh, I'm still going to place this in the final third at a six, so like a medium, medium plus. And overall, that's what I'm going to put the cigar at, like a, a six on a one to ten scale on my flavor strength profile. Uh, my overall rating on this cigar is a 90. Um, like I say, I absolutely love this cigar. Overall, on my flavors throughout, you've got that grass, kind of a hay sweetness, um, the toasted walnut, that creaminess. And that spicy black pepper throughout. And then that second, third, and final third, I pick up some hickory notes. Uh, just absolutely love the cigar. Um, is the cigar for the new cigar smoker? Even though it's a Connecticut, I'm probably going to say no on this one. It's just a little bit, um, I think it would be, if, if you were picking up your first cigar, this would probably be a little bit too much for you. Um, it is kind of complex. Even though you have the flavors running through, the the same flavors running through the whole cigar, um, there's a lot of flavors in there. Um, it is a little spicy. So for a brand new cigar smoker, I would say no. But if you've got a few under your belt and you're looking to step up to a, a very different Connecticut, um, this would be an absolute um, great cigar for you. So this has been the Drew Estate. Um, this is the blackened, the S84 shade to black. It's got the Ecuadorian um, Connecticut wrapper on it. Um, fine cigar. Um, if you haven't smoked it, go ahead and check it out. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. <laughs>